If someone tells you they're quite pleased with a report, how pleased are they? Completely pleased or just moderately? Deciding what exactly quite means can be, well, quite tricky. When quite comes before an adjective, check whether the adjective is gradable. To do this, ask yourself if you would put the word very before it. If you wouldn't, it's not gradable. This means quite is probably emphasising it. For example, imagine you ask someone if a job can be done by tomorrow. If they tell you it's quite impossible, impossible is not gradable. You wouldn't say very impossible. So you wouldn't argue with this person. By saying quite impossible, they're emphasising the fact that the job you asked them to do really is impossible. Or, if someone tells you you're quite wrong, they aren't telling you how much you are wrong. They're saying you're completely wrong. This use of quite, where it means very or completely, is more common in British English. With gradable adjectives, it's different. Let's look again at quite pleased. There are different degrees of being pleased, so quite here can go either way. In British English, quite pleased usually means fairly pleased. Quite softens the adjective after it. But in American English, quite pleased is more likely to mean really pleased. Quite intensifies or strengthens the adjective. When quite comes before a verb, it emphasises it too. If I say, I quite understand, it means I fully understand. Here, quite tells us that some state or process is complete. Sometimes it's hard to know which quite is which. In these cases, tone or context can help you work it out. I hope that's quite clear. In our next video, we'll be going on holiday. Or is that vacation? See you then.